We're here. A matter of United Steel versus uh, Mitch Daniels et al. 45 CO 1207 PL 71. For the record, would everyone identify themselves and who they're representing? Your Honor, Tina Baines, from Public Citizens, has been issued. Okay. Good afternoon, Your Honor. I'm Grant Helms, the Attorney General representing you. Okay. Kenneth Gill, Your Honor, also from the AG's office representing the plaintiffs. Jeff Macy, Your Honor, for the plaintiffs. And Jim Weiser, Your Honor, for the plaintiffs. And we're here this morning for status? That's correct. Correct. Where, where are we with this? How far along are we, gentlemen? We have, uh, we are in the process of discovery. We've served some written discovery back uh, a little bit ago. Um, plaintiffs are working on getting responses. Found out today that we probably need another couple of weeks. What we had talked about informally, if it works with your calendar, was uh, sort of starting from February 1, uh, put out four months to complete discovery because we'll want to take some depositions. So that would take us to about June 1, July 1 for cross motions for summary judgment, uh, August 1 for the responses, August 16th for the replies, and then depending on your calendar, sometime after September 1 for oral argument. We'll we'll look, all right. We'll set it for... Um We'll set it for a final status or pretrial after all that's right. Completed. That's what we were thinking after that shakes out, it, right. depending on what sure. remains, if anything. So how, how, how did you get those dates, Karen? I, I can I can repeat them. I'm sorry. Um, discovery closed June one. Let me make sure that nothing is a weekend. Uh, uh, June one is a. Why don't we do May thirty first? Since June one is a Saturday. Cross motions for summary judgment. Uh, we, you mind if we do July 2? July 2 is great. Okay. Okay. July 2, 2013. Responses to the motions for summary judgment Friday, August 2. Replies to uh, the responses Friday, August 16. And then whatever your calendar is, Your Honor, for after, sometime after. Right. Set it for uh, Nikki sometime in August, after August 16th. Well, do we want to argue at that day, or we just want us to set it for arguments? Is there going to be any witnesses or any evidence presented? Or I wouldn't. I, would, I think it would be all in the context of summary judgment. I think so, yeah. so I would say an okay. oral argument. All right. How long is it going to be for the judge? All day and all day? Well. Two or three days of each. No. <laughs> you want to be here that long? A day, a day for each lawyer. <laughs> um, what, about a, a couple hours? Is that? I think a couple hours would be more than enough to argue. Two hours. Yeah, just a two-hour arguments on the motion. Wow.
Can it be the 16th? Because we're starting a 10 day trial that Monday. Would the 16th be okay, gentlemen? Of August? Yeah. It, it's fine with me. You won't necessarily have the benefit of having the reply briefs because they'll be due that no. same day. But we'll start a 10 day trial on Monday. So that's Friday. So. I've got no problem going into September on it, the argument date. Going to September. Yeah. Uh, early September. What trial is that then? Oh, yeah. I think, yeah. Um, September, early September. Friday, September 6th or 16th. How's the 6th look? 6th is good for me. Find my calendar, guys. Friday, September 6th. At what time? Any two in the afternoon? So that would be a travel. travel. That's great. All right, 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock? Uh, 2, two o'clock would be great. 2 o'clock. Anything else, gentlemen? That's all from our side. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right.